Hey, yo, what's up, y'all? Uh, this is Josh. This is Raf. You're watching another episode reviewing High Low Diner. It's pretty excited. Um, but yeah, Raf, why don't you tell us a little bit about this place? Yeah, so this place originated in Gibsonia, Pennsylvania around 1950s. And then since then, they traveled here to Minneapolis to bring over the great American tradition of breakfast food to Lo and behold, East Lake Street, Minnesota, uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> I really dig them because uh, they have like an eclectic mix of different kinds of food. I don't know, they just put like fried chicken on like donuts and like cool stuff like that. So I'm uh, pretty excited, so we're gonna give this a go. Let's do it. Let's do it. What we got here is called Gary Cooper. It's a, uh, you know, over here this restaurant is called High Low Diner. And so it's kind of like a play on the name. Uh, it's like their high top, so it's the like their signature dishes. Um, right here, what you're looking at, I've never seen this before, but it's a donut. It's a house-made, a house-made donut here. We got house gravy around it, and yes, that is buttermilk fried chicken up Ooh. top with some garnish because you know everybody needs greens. It's gotta be healthy, right? So this sauce right here is their maple bourbon syrup. So that's like a custom syrup that they like like I guess like create in the, the, the back kitchen. Oh my god. Dude, let's go. Hey we gotta pray though. Oh It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> we'll save we'll save some, don't worry. Don't yeah. Worry. Yeah, I actually never would have thought that. Like usually I mean I don't really have a sweet tooth. I do like Krispy Kremes, but I never think about eating a donut for like brunch or breakfast or as a food, but then I think with the bourbon with the bourbon gravy they, and the fried buttermilk fried chicken, it's like they get enough to, to balance out the sweet with the savory. So for those of you that maybe are like me, that really don't like lot, really sweet stuff, kind of makes your teeth hurt or just kind of go, oh, it's too sour. Uh, they do a good job of balancing the flavors out here. So as you as I bite into it, it kind of hits you with the sweet first, but then it kind of rounds out and smooths with the savory. It's nice and salty in it. And then, and just, I don't know, for me, I'm like, you know, it's all about the sauce, the sauce spouse, you know, the sauce is what really brings it together. So. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Alright, we got the uh, Lox and Jam Benedict. Uh, this is actually last time I had this, I just had the munchies late night. What I love about Hilo Diner is that they serve breakfast all day. So you don't have to come during brunch time, you can come at like 8 p.m., 9 p.m., or whatever, 10 p.m., and you just got the munchies, come over, Hi, yeah. come back, come eat. You 99 know, tacos for two get cents. A eggs Benedict if you want. So, what we got here is smoked salmon on the bottom. I think these are capers. I personally don't like capers, so I'm just gonna take it off. <laughs> but we got uh, red onions and, uh, and a perfectly poached egg here. Uh, let's check the insides. All right, you ready for this cut? We can come check this out. Oh. Cheers. Right. That's too good, man. That's too good. I just get happy eating good food. <laughs> and yeah, I know what you guys are thinking. Like, it's just hash browns. How good hash browns be? But like, good hash brown makes a huge difference. You're supposed to eat it with the hash, hash browns, right? Mm -hmm. Just take a bite with the hash browns. Mm -hmm. I just love saucy things. Like, I don't like things that are dry. I like things like lathered on. And, just, and here they got the nice hollandaise sauce and just like, just allowing every taste bud to just experience the hollandaise sauce. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> then we've got the Tex-Mex burrito here, and we'll cut into that and see what's in there. Oh my god. 
It looks like that there's eggs, hash browns, and chorizo up in here. Enchilada sauce. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. It's falling apart. That's amazing. I lived in San Diego for four years. I know what a breakfast burrito should, sound, should, should taste like. I've eaten at places like Barretas, Tacos al Gordo, Roberto's. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I approve. I approve of this breakfast burrito. I'm just leaving it at that. Oh my god, I love the hash browns. It's so crunchy. I don't know how they maintain the crunchy integrity of the hash browns. You would imagine that with the heat, it would make it soggy, you know? It would break apart. But somehow, they keep it nice and hot, and it's, they must have fried it beforehand, then stuffed it in, so that when, by the time it reaches the delivery into my mouth, it's perfect. Abracadabra! That's what we're talking about here. I'm gonna, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna take a big bite. I can't, I can't even talk right now. It's just, it's just too good. It's so good. Also, something else I like about Hello is I think their service is really good too. So shout out to them. You gotta leave a good, leave a good tip. And then lastly, we got the hash stuffed hash. Hash stuffed half here. And I see why they put the hollandaise sauce on top. At first, I didn't understand why they put the hollandaise sauce, but now, get it. It's brilliant and ingenious and delicious all at the same time. Whoa. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. <laughs> We're gonna start with cutting open the jiggly. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love the way the egg just kind of spills out all over it and stuff. Well, for me personally, I like it with a little bit of ketchup. That's just me. Struggle, struggle bus. Oh, shit. Right in that. <laughs> no. It's okay. We can use that, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. It's really good. I really like the corned beef. It really goes well with the kind of the, the base flavor of the egg and the hollandaise. Yeah. Kind of adds the, the right amount of saltiness to it. So you, you don't even need, need to add pepper or salt to it. Yeah. The corned beef pretty much does the job for you. Let's go. Mm. Mm. That kills. It's good. <laughs> Sometimes when the food's good, I just get hungrier as I keep eating. That's the case right now. I'm feeling hungry as I eat. I just want to keep eating. We should have ordered more. I do want to order a shake. This is my cheat day, but I don't want to cheat too hard because it's hard to like undo the damage if you go if you go too far into the deep side. It's just so bad, but so good. If you guys like our stuff, if you guys want more recommendations on some of the cool places around town, please uh, like this video or subscribe right here. And if you guys have any more cool ideas about which places you can check out, uh, comment below and we'll try to make a video out of it.